Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this video we will see the demo for the shoe uh, shop project in Java. Okay. Oh, let's run the application first. So the application, uh, um, like in terms of the technology, it's using JSP servlet to manage the front end and server side programming and the JSP is using HTML, CSS, all the things and it's following the MBC architecture so uh, completely packaged or uh, like uh, the mbc model you can see here that complete architecture is there so here we have a bean classes we have a controllers that is the servlet side exception handling model package and uh, application is deployed over the tomcat server and now we have a backend in the backend it's using mysql database so the database is there and it has a uh, multiple tables like customer login manager comment and product under the login table, I can check the users of this uh, application. So there are two types of users, admin and the other users. So I can log in with that and we'll show you all the uh, refund by one user. Like uh, for the admin purpose, the role ID is always one. For that uh, manager user, it will be two and for the customer, it will be three. So there are diff three different types of users are there. So to run the application, just right click over the top uh, root folder of the application, go to run as, click on run on servers, like the server, configure server, click on finish, the application automatically will launch at your uh, Chrome browser. Okay, now when you move to the product section, you will see the products are there, it's a currently available project into the database. And uh, after that, we have a header, footer and the login option there. And if you are a new user and want to sign in, sign up into the application, you must have to buy the project, buy the product. So I just, let's suppose I'm a customer. So first I will view as a customer, then we'll view as an admin, and then we'll view as a manager. So I just click on the book product. Here I have a, I have a form. So I'm just into the demo data there. And uh, again, here I need to enter the password. Age five contact number six. So now this current price is there calculated, and uh, this will come now into the payment page. So we'll enter the payment details here card number, year, CVV, payment. So payment done successfully. Now, when this user will log in, you can check its history as well. So here we have a sign up option. So in this way, you can sign up into the application and click on the login button. And now check just refresh the database and check that just recently entered the data, uh, entered user. So this user has recently registered into the application. So I'm gonna log in with the same user and I think it's there. When I log in, I can check the products again, whatever the available product, and I can check the product list or you can say the product history this is the product history that i have booked so this will come under the product list and i log out here now let's log in as an admin and check what admin can perform then we'll move to manager section so i logged in as an admin so for that i enter the username and password hit the sign in button so where you will find the username it will be under the user login table we have a login column and a password column according to the rule id you can differentiate the different kind of user okay here we have as an admin i have an option to add the manager so i can add the manager or it can be manager or it can be admin i can add as an admin i can add another admin or i can add a manager and click on save and it's asking to enter the valid data so just enter 10 digit mobile number it's done so data is saved successfully now manager is it i just need to enter the product code here product name product quantity product choice product price i suppose i enter some price over there choose the image so i just save to this image Make sure when you are selecting image, it should not come into the same folder uh, from the project folder. It should come from the different folder or different location from your machine. It should be valid data in JPG or some uh, valid PNG format. So the product is saved successfully. Now this product will display here. So the same copy is available in this uh, earlier I have added. That's why it's displaying. Alright, okay. Other option you can delete 
uh, record so when I click on the delete it's deleted automatically I can also edit the record uh, make sure while you editing the record you must have to select the image okay and let's say I want to select save uh, edit the name after that I have to write the image as well then only the data will be updated and it will be updated here also as an admin I can check the customers whatever the customers are available into the database and the payments history and the book list whatever the user booked there yeah. so uh, recently we have added a uh, book the new record over there so the data will be displayed here into the history section for the admin now let's log in with another user that is a manager of the shop manager or shopkeeper so i'm going to log in with this manager and uh, enter the password i have entered the username and then password then sign in into the application as a manager also i can add a product the product also be displayed there and i can check the existing product i can check the customers i can check the payments and i can check the booking list also uh, again uh, if you want uh, do shop you can register over there and you can do with the new user as well so this is the new user over there so again we have product list I can book as many as product I want. Let's enter the age, some basic details, save, common payment details, and some serial number payment done. Payment successfully, and the product list will display here. There is two product. Okay, uh, it can be a uh, like a big mail, like it's an e-commerce application, so you can categorize it in, into the major project uh, for your college. So if you want the source code, you can connect it with the code one team. They will help you to configure the project at your machine and it will display and work same as source in this demo and they have a complete support so that will be easy for you to run the application at your machine we have a different different services in case you want explanation also we will give the complete call, like interview preparation explanation or the internal code flow <coughs> one by one